brought this judgment upon themselves. They are just lost. This is our place to guide them. I've watched you kill each other over race and greed. Wage war over dust and rubble and the words in old books. And yet in the midst of all this darkness, I see some people who will not be bound. I don't even believe in God. Well, that's just fine. Bobby doesn't believe in you either. What's good, everyone? Just dropping this quick video. Um, it's going to be about the Chinese soldiers that they want to send to help Biden. And it's going to be about, they calling conspiracy theorists terrorists now. So let's get into this. What's up, everybody? It's 2021. Hopefully this year will be a better year. Now, I found this article and it states that conspiracy theory theories um as domestic terrorism. That's what the FBI is saying, that we're terrorists, us conspiracy theorists. I call us more as realists. You know, we must be really pressing buttons and exposing these these evil individuals that are parasites to humanity and their system that was designed to keep us down. We must be really having them shaking in their boots if they're going to come out with something that heavy. And it kind of made me happy to see that article because I know now we're pressing buttons that need to be pressed. So I want to touch on a few other things before I end this video. You know, I was reading about these 250,000 China troops that they're offering Biden because if people didn't know that voted for that loser, he has ties with communist China. And if you know everything on our shelves is made in China or, or made from an Asian country, when it should say made in the USA. Now, don't get me wrong. I love people from all the countries. It's not the people I'm talking about. It's the people in powers, the people ruling over us. The people oppressing us, suppressing the truth, all that bad, good, whatever you want to call it stuff. <clears throat> that makes our country look weak, 250,000 soldiers. They call people terrorists that actually question and speak up for themselves. They call us terrorists because we're breaking down and shaking their paradigm. All the truths come into light. You know, you got this, this, these two jokers right here, you know, his father cheated his way in. Who knows how many other of these people cheated and, and, and our votes do not matter. I don't care what you say. That's why they always turn. Oh, vote for this. You can vote for this. You have a right to vote. But the votes, the votes, that's the way they cheat. That's why they, they give you the illusion of, of choice because they know we're pretty much dumbed down. People think we're smarter because we have, because we have some technology. Well, you know, we're being dumbed down to the point we don't even know. A lot of people don't even know that they're being bamboozled. And if they do, they turn their cheek because they don't want to accept the fact that they've been bamboozled. It's fine. We all know this. A lot, not all, but most of us know this by now. We want to do something about it. But we're so divided. The far left, the far right. This is part of their plan to divide and conquer. I don't understand why, you know, I see these groups and they're blaming, they're, we're blaming each other. When it's not each other, it's the people in power doing this to us. They know what, what you know, they study us as well as some of us study them. They know exactly what to say because they know what we want to hear. They're studying us, believe that. That's why all these so-called leaders, these presidents, say these speeches and you'd be like, yeah, that's what I want to hear because they already know what we want to hear. These people have been studying us forever. Um, we must come together and ignore these politics, come together so we can put our foot down together. It's the only way we're going to overcome this. We're all slaves, whether you want to believe it or not. See these pictures I put up? The police are still rounding up slaves. 
It doesn't matter what shade your flesh is. If you're not rich, you're a slave. Believe that. And even when you're uh, rich, you still are a puppet, most of them. So, we must not blame each other. We must help each other, love each other, you know? And when I start speaking like this, a lot of people think it's soft. But I don't care what people think. It's not soft. It's being real. It's not time to sit there and, and play these movie roles of gangster and this and that. It's time to be real, man, and wake up. If we can't come together, you're going to say hello to communism. You ain't going to have no rights. They're going to be throwing needles in your arm left and right. They're going to be telling you what to do. I already see it. I can't even go into the bank without someone telling me to stand on an X. I don't even know this person. And they're, they're, they're bossing me around like I'm some box, some property. And I'm like, Don't watch how you talk to me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting very on the, the, the snapping point because I'm just tired of this whole system it's effed up man you know in these books and these bibles it says we're all equal and god gave us this land and this and that but to me that's bs because this land ain't ours you 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 read history you see what the europeans and the spanish did to the aboriginals of this land then when after they took the land they made them believe that they were from africa through generations of lying and, and you think these people care about um, you? Hell no. These people don't care about you. They don't love you. They have no intentions to support you or anything. They put these programs in play because you think they're helping you, but they're just getting into your home and your business so they know everything you do. They can control you. You don't want to do this? Well, we ain't going to give you this help. If you don't want to do that, well, we ain't going to give you no food. You see? These are the games they play. They got you believing in these deities when you're the power, you yourself. And I'm not saying don't give credit to the Most High or whatever created this realm. But it's taking power away from self, man. We must find a way to come together, man, and really do something about this. Cause I'm tired of talking. I'm out of here. Peace. Wait, I'm not leaving. Instead of me doing a whole nother video, I just figured I would add this on to the end. I've been wanting to talk about this and I've brought it up in other videos about the JP Morgan ship that was caught with all this cocaine. It said 20 tons of cocaine. They were caught with. It's about one point. I think it's one point three. Trillion dollars. Or billion dollars worth of cocaine. It's billion. So. They are blaming. The route they went. I'm going to show you in this video. In this news clip at the end. The route they took. And you know it's going to speak on. The amount even changes though. Which was mind blowing. And the news clip to this clip I found on, I posted it over in the beginning here. On the whole the whole thing that went down, I got it from Google and I downloaded a news clip I'm going to chop up and put at the end. So you can listen to what they have to say about it. But I've been saying the real drug dealers are the 1% bringing this stuff in on their cargo ships. Because they can get away with it by blaming the people that work on the cargo ships. So let's check out these news clip. Supersized seizure. Tons of cocaine crammed into containers on a cargo ship. 15,000 kilos, that, that's a lot. Tonight, the history-making haul and how it all came to be in our backyard. Good evening, I'm Jim Rosenfield. And I'm Jacqueline London. NBC10 was the first to tell you about this record cocaine seizure, the largest ever for our area and one of the biggest in U.S. history. Authorities say the drugs could have a street value of more than $1 billion. More than 15,000 kilos of cocaine has been seized from seven containers on that ship. 
When you do the math, we are talking about 16 and a half tons of the drug, some 33,000 pounds. As for that chip, it was intercepted by the feds at the Packer Avenue Marine Terminal port on the Delaware River in South Philadelphia. That's after it had been to Chile, Panama and the Bahamas. We have team coverage with NBC 10's Brandon Hudson and Mitch Blocker. We'll begin with Brandon. He's across the river from the port in Gloucester City where he just got new information. Brandon, this is a story the NBC 10 team has been working to nail down since midnight and the scope just growing larger by the hour. Yeah, that's right, Jim and Jacqueline. In the last 20 minutes, we found out how the drugs got on this ship. Police paperwork says a crew and a drug ring used floating nets off the coast of Peru. Now, take a look at those containers. That crew filled seven of them with a billion dollars worth of cocaine. This drug bust has a trickle-down effect, which ultimately keeps you, your family, and your neighborhood safe. An historic large-scale cocaine bust that sounds like something out of a big-budget blockbuster. 33,000 pounds of coke worth more than a billion dollars. Investigators found the drugs in seven shipping containers the size of a standard tractor trailer aboard a ship at a Philadelphia port. It's a little crazy down here today. News spread so quickly, this food truck owner heard about it by lunchtime. A traffic jam formed in front of his business. At one point, federal investigators blocked the intersection to let a command post drive by. It's holding up the drivers that want to get other containers out of the yard. So it's going to be chaotic down here today. A senior law enforcement official told NBC 10 the ship traveled from Chile to Panama and to the Bahamas before it stopped in South Philly. Container Last night's bust the comes three months after another cocaine seizure, which at the time was the fourth largest in the region. Well, back in March, authorities captured 1,200 pounds of coke worth $38 million, a total which is now pocket change compared to what investigators found on a South American ship. We know that it's happened a couple of times. It's been on the news a couple of times. Last night was pretty big. And within the past hour, we got a statement from the ship's owner, Mediterranean Shipping Company. In the statement, MSC says shipping companies are often the targets of drug trafficking. It takes this matter very seriously, and they are working with law enforcement. Live along the Delaware River, I'm Brandon Hudson, NBC 10 News. And our coverage continues with investigative reporter Mitch Blocker live in our newsroom. And Mitch, the region has never seen the likes of something this big, right? Yeah, let's give this some perspective. The Department of Homeland Security, it says before today it had seized 19 tons of cocaine. That's across the entire country. The 16 tons that they found in Philadelphia nearly doubles the total. When federal agents boarded this cargo ship in the port of Philadelphia, they discovered drugs scattered throughout seven massive containers. Before arriving in Philly, the cargo ship traveled from Chile through Panama and the Bahamas. You want to get as high up in the food chain as possible to prevent as much drugs as you can to get it onto the streets. Law enforcement professionals like Jameson Rogers say 15,000 kilos is a one of a kind drug seizure, something never before seen. That's a massive amount. I mean, just with one kilo, the street value of that is roughly $30,000. Port of Philadelphia security is fully in the hands of U.S. Customs and Border Protection. CBP requires any ship headed for the U.S. to file details on its route and cargo. The answers may trigger an inspection. Customs officials have not released details of what was seized, but did confirm a massive investigation underway at Philadelphia's port. The Port of Philadelphia is the 23rd busiest port in the U.S., with more than 23 million tons of cargo hitting the dock each year. Now, as we have been reporting, this is now the third significant drug seizure in our region this year. In March, customs officials discovered $38 million in cocaine at the Port of Philadelphia and another $77 million worth at the Port of New York and New Jersey. Jim and Jacqueline, back to you. Obviously, a big disruption in this latest bus. Mitch, thank you. And NBC10 was the first to break this story today on the NBC10 app. Continue to follow the developments online and download the app for free so you don't miss any breaking news updates. Now I'm really out of here, but I just want to know what people think. Do you think this is propaganda to make the war on drugs look good or a diversion so a larger amount could come in somewhere else? Because they do that a lot too. You know, my whole thing with this war on drugs, they could really put an end to this. But the people in the 1% are making billions and trillions and trillions of dollars off of this on our self-destruction. Peace out, everyone. Be safe and stay focused.